Hey yo, what's up? You know what it is, your boy TDG. Welcome back to Run That Rex, everybody. And today, we are going to put an end to this stigma problem. I'll be a temporarily, we already know that. But, before we get to that, let's talk about these very cute caterpillars. Is that, yeah, it's true what you heard. Don't do what I'm doing. Charge up the rolling shield. And then just sit there and you'll be able to farm whatever it is that you need because these... These caterpillars are really programmed to be real generous in this day. Mm, you know, and that's about that. All I can think about right now is I want to go randomly go read the Very Hungry Caterpillar because I haven't read it in forever. That caterpillar was great. It's a kick-ass caterpillar, you know. He started out as a caterpillar, ate a whole bunch of stuff, went into a cocoon and came out a beautiful butterfly. I really honestly don't know what beautiful butterflies have to do with me about to kill a damn doll and a human being and a fucking giant ass mech, but at this moment, Sigma has the floor and we shall give it to him. Welcome. I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I could destroy you, but I would not rob my pet of that pleasure. He knows how to deal with betrayers. Should you live, I'll be waiting for you. Don't disappoint me, Axe! It's a show you want, Sigma? It is a show you shall have. Bitch, call me Michael Vick. You have something else you'd like to say, buddy? Oh, yes, according to the text box, you do! Fine. Floor is yours. Excellent job, Axe. I see one zero counter on you. You're almost as good a hunter as I was. But the time for your destruction has arrived. You shall regret having ever defied me. Yeah, I regret a lot of things. Defying you wasn't on that list, motherfucker. Now you're dead. Hadouken to the balls? Whatever. And now we get to the problem. This thing. Now, it's not much of a problem as it is that you need to understand the boss fight. Because the only thing that is really important here is that you got some safe spots and, you know, I'm screwing the hell up and stuff, but, and I'm going to hit the back. Yep. Sub tank number one, but yeah, you just want to hit in with the rolling, and that's important. They're more important than you think, and you want to know why? The only other weapon that can do any damage to him is a level four X Buster shot. The problem is that it only does one point of damage. So you do not want to put yourself in a situation where you only have the level, you only have the level for Egg Buster to rely on for damage because you will be fighting this thing all damn day. Oh, pop another sub tank for safety because, you know, I don't want to do this again. Goodbye! And that's that. We did it, everybody. Won, we won, we shot the BB gun, you lost. You lost. You ate tomato sauce. Enough. We have a tech box to read and it's Sigma screaming for his life because I put a whole bunch of rolling shield into his damn face. Sigma, your first dying breath of many, sir. The floor, all yours. No, it's not possible. I'm a rep lord. I can't be destroyed by you. Why, X? Why have you done this to us? Without the humans, my Reploid brothers could have ushered in a new age. Well, so much for that new age, motherfucker. You're dead now. I don't have any regrets. I don't give a shit. We'll see ya at the end of Mega Man X2, you sick motherfucker. And with that, mission accomplished. For real, this time. Well, kids, we're done. 
for now anyway and you know X is going to celebrate his victory in a weird depressed day and I have stuff to read and we have a lot of stuff to talk about but at the moment the game needs me to read slow scrolling text why is the text scrolling so damn slow I guess they probably assume you're just going to sit here and stare at it but I have to give it time for it to scroll up so I'm not reading it like a robot or Microsoft Sam. Microsoft Sam is awesome. Especially in YouTube poops. But I think that's enough. If you'll excuse me. The war is ended for now and peace has been restored. But those who sacrifice themselves for the victory will never return. Exhausted? As he gazes at the destruction he have caused, and he wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? Standing on the cliff, the answer seemed to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the Maverick again before he finds his answer. How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the ex buster on his hand knows for sure. We did it. I'm tearing up a little bit. And I'm not tearing up because it's the end of the game. I'm tearing up because playing this game was real important for me personally. And I explained it a little bit in the first video. But let me touch on it right now. Real talk. The boy been going through stuff personally. And it was one of the driving reasons I decided to get up and play Mega Man X for the reason to divert this whatever I'm going through. So yeah, me sharing personal stuff with you. That yeah, I played Mega Man X to try to curb my anger and stuff like that. But I want to say this though. Because despite all of that, it was important that I played this game and here's the reason. The same reason I played Me I played Super Mario Bros. before that. The same reason that I played this now. The same reason if you even paid attention to my main page about how the stuff, the video that I uploaded changed. Because I want these videos to represent who I am. I want to use these games to introduce myself to people. So that you understand a lot more about me. And that's what's important. Is that. This game. Like I said. Is very important. Because it was the game. That made me want to go play more Mega Man. And it's that. This game holds a very special place in my heart. And so do X2 and X3. Because you know. A lot of the memories it brings back about my mom. And you know. All the fun times. And you know. How Friday it was. Oh let's go to Blockbuster. Let's go rent a game. Let's get some pizza. Let's kick it. Let's have fun. You know, what I've come to understand through this run and lately what I've been noticing, real talk, is that I don't want to sit up here on this video and question people's motives for the things that they do or why. But I look at some of the stuff that people do because I notice and I wonder, are you doing it for the sake of you doing it or are you doing it because you have a legitimate reason? I play these games, I upload these videos, and that includes trailers and map builds and all that. They have reasons behind them. I'm just not uploading on any damn thing just because I can just throw something on YouTube. Everything that I try to do and that I try to present, I try to make sure that it has some meaning. The meaning is, the meaning, at least for this, was that, yeah, you go through shit. That's a part of life. It's what you do after this shit happens to you. It's what's important. And what happened to me is what happened. But, instead of sitting up here with my head held down and crying like a little bitch or doing whatever the hell, I played Mega Man X. I played it. I enjoyed myself. And I'm glad I was able to share the adventure with you. And shout out to and shout out to everybody on Neo Gaff and the um and the Mega Man playthrough thread. I really appreciate you know how sharing it with you guys and sharing it with everybody else. Shout out to everybody that fuck with your boy, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Diary Block on all that. I appreciate that very much. And like I said, I, I'm so glad 
that I was able to share this with you guys. And, you know, but my time is up. We'll have more to talk about when we get to the end game, but you know who it is. It's your boy TDG. This is Running Rex. I'll holler at y'all next time, man. Peace out. <laughs>